for anyone who is just really struggling with your favorite celebrities or your favorite TikTokers, and you're like, how are they not on the right side of history with what's happening here? Like, how are they not saying anything? Or how are they doing what they're doing? What we're seeing finally is a really clear rift between the neoliberal woke people and the people who actually want the entire system to change. Because a lot of these celebrities and TikTokers who in the past, you've heard them talk about Black Lives Matter, you've heard them talk about trans lives and all these things, you would think that there would be a connection, but actually they just want to keep the status quo more or less the way it is and just give women, trans people, black people representative power within the existing system. Whether they admit it to themselves or not, that's what they want. And there's a lot of people like this everywhere, right? And when you look at the diversity and inclusion industry, generally that's what it's promoting. It is getting everyone equally represented within the existing system. And then there's those of us who are like, the system is unacceptable. The behavior of the system is unacceptable. Look at the many babies that are being killed right now. This is the outcome of the existing system. This is unacceptable to us. Whereas you have people on the other side being like, well, this actually upholds the system that I'm actually not trying to change. So even if they're not happy about it, right? They're like, I mean, it's kind of, it is what it is. It's kind of, that's the way the world works. So what we're seeing now is that divide. And it's time to let go of all of these, you know, people that we admired that we thought uh, were change makers when all they ever wanted was to get women and people of different races and ethnicities and disabilities and everything just, just equally represented within the system that already exists. Not that that was ever possible if you actually applied any critical thought, but that's all they ever were really advocating for, unfortunately. Mm-hmm.